What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on the uh, possible buyout looming for Thomas Vanek and the Minnesota Wild as the two sides may choose to um, part ways this summer. Vanek wants to stay in Minnesota, and um, you know he considers Minnesota home. But at the same time, it's you know it's it's a tough situation for him. You know he he was not hasn't been what he, the team thought he'd be when they went out and signed him um, two years ago. He's got one year left on his contract at 7.5 million, so I believe it'd be a third of it, the cap hit for twice the year. So I think it'd be, uh, you know, like two point something, you know, 2.4, 2.5 million maybe for two years as opposed to 7.5 for one. I think you know Minnesota needs the cap space to resign some free, you know, restricted free agents, Matt Dumba, uh, principal among them. So you know, there's definitely. You know, going to be some pieces moving around the board, you know, in the next few weeks in Minnesota. They haven't, just, you know, we'll see what the coaching staff situation looks like, you know, if they're able to, to retain their restricted free agents, you know, maybe make some moves in the uh, in the trade market and, you know, go from there. But definitely a uh, tough deal, you know, seeing that Vanek, you know, for a guy that was you know, two-time 40-goal scorer getting to Minnesota to be, you know, so bad was, uh, you know, something I don't think the – the wild organization saw coming, but we'll see how it all shakes up this summer. And again, I thought he was dog shit last year in their series against uh, Chicago. But, you know, we'll see if they give him another chance. You know, he's got one year left on his deal. Maybe they just eat the cap hit for the year and, and go from there. But, hey, you know, it's my thing with making personnel decisions with your heart, not your head, was look what happened with Dean Lombardi and Mike Richards. And I know you can talk about the way. Lombardi kind of screwed Richards at the end. Richards, <coughs> excuse me, screwed Lombardi that summer in 2014 when they could have bought him out and not have a count against the cap. So this year was, you know, or last year, his last year in LA was like, eh, you really can't fault the, uh, the, the team for being so frustrated with his, you know, situation. But we'll see how it, uh, how it all works itself out for, for Vanek, whether or not the Wild use their head or their heart. If I were in charge of Minnesota, I'd buy them out. I'd give them the buyout, give them a chance to play somewhere else next year, take that $5 million in cap savings, and, and kind of, you know, make some moves to, you know, keep this young new place intact and, you know, maybe see what you can do to finally break through in the Western Conference because, you know, it just seems like Minnesota's stuck in the middle and uh, getting out of it's going to be pretty tough. You know, they're just stuck in that. Between a rock and a hard spot in the West, they're too good to blow it up, and they're not really right now. It's looking like they're good enough to break through and, you know, beat a team like LA or, or Chicago or, or Dallas now. But we'll see how it works out. Anyway, that's all I got. This episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Hey guys.